The Insurmountable was a three-decker trading ship that made a total of five voyages in the service of the British East India Company. On December 30, 1718, the Insurmountable left Calcutta in order to return home to England. Her cargo consisted of 29 barrels filled with copper coins, 40 chests of silver bullion, 25 chests of gold bullion, and 96 elephant tusks. She would never reach England. On February 15, 1719, the Insurmountable sailed directly into a violent storm. And in that storm, she remained for three miserable days, hopelessly lost. In the middle of the fourth day, the Insurmountable capsized and sank to the ocean floor with all of its precious cargo. Of its crew of 112, only 11 men managed to make it to the shores of South Africa. The rest were devoured by ravenous sea creatures. After much intensive research, my brother and I have come to believe that the Insurmountable may have sunk near a certain South African island. At the time that the Insurmountable sank, it was called Ilha de Fera, which is Portuguese for the Island of Wild Creatures. But nowadays, it's known as Dyer Island. Today's date is June 17th, 2023. My brother and I are minutes away from falling asleep in a shabby hotel in Hunsby, South Africa. If all goes well, June 18th, 2023 will be the day that Zane and Dominic Riker finally bring all the insurmountable's long sunken treasures back to the surface and become instant multi-millionaires. Radio check, radio check. Can you hear me, Dominic? Loud and clear, Zane. Loud and clear. Hey, Dominic, how far away are we from Dyer Island? Right now, Zane, I'd say we're approximately 30 nautical miles east of Dyer. Why? I don't know. It just suddenly occurred to me that a little while ago I was still able to see Dyer Island as a tiny little speck on the horizon. Now I can't even see that anymore. Whichever way I look, there's nothing but you, me, and the deep blue sea. Well, deep blue ocean, anyway. The deep blue ocean and all the thousands of creatures that live in it. Please don't remind me of them. <laughs> Are we almost at our destination? Almost, Zane. Almost. First rule of treasure hunting, always come armed. Too many thieves and rival treasure hunters who are thieves. Dominic and I had to learn that the hard way. Hey Dominic, are we there yet? Actually yes, we're there. We should be directly above what's left of the insurmountable. Let me know when you're ready to go underwater, Zane. I'm ready, Dominic. Let's do this. Great. I'll help you put your scuba gear on. You know, Dominic, I still think you miscalculated the coordinates. I'll tell you what, Zane. You go down there, and if you don't find the insurmountable, I'll pull you back up, and we'll go wherever you want. Gotta be honest. I'm starting to feel a bit nervous. Hey, don't worry. I spared no expense buying the very best cage for you, Zane. You'll be completely safe in there. Let's see. Oxygen tank? Laser cutter? Wait, where's my phone? Huh? My phone! I need my phone! Where is it? I don't know! Where's the last place you put it? I'll leave the shotgun where it is for now. There's nothing around me that I want to shoot. I found my phone! 
Wonderful. This is the most waterproof model of smartphone money can buy. I'm going to take loads of pictures of all the treasure when I'm down there. Terrific. Now can you please get a move on already? We're wasting valuable time. Bringing treasure with me to the bottom of the ocean is the exact opposite of what I want to do. Okay, lower me down. Hey Zane, how's the water down there? Wet, cold, and growing steadily darker the deeper I go. <laughs> well, I'm gonna let you go for a little while. Got to answer a call on nature. Have fun basking in the exquisite majesty of the briny depths. Will do. I'll call you when I see the insurmountable, or if anything weird happens. It's all so big. Oh, what a cool looking manta ray. Maybe I should take a picture. Wait, stop! Come back, Mr. Manta Ray! Ah, oh, hell. Have I got the flashlight on? Probably should fix that before it eats up my battery and I scare off all the marine life down here. Hey Zane, you there? I just got back from my bathroom break and I am hearing a lot of static coming from your end. Everything okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Although I can't say I'm hearing any static. Hey Zane, I don't know if you heard anything I said just now. I don't know if you responded to my words, but if you did, please speak louder because I couldn't hear you over all the static. I said I'm not hearing any static, Dom. Ah, spoke too soon. I actually am hearing static. Zane, are you there? I can't hear you at all! Please respond! I hear the static too, Dom! Just stay calm! Can you hear me, Dominic? Stay! Jesus Christ! Oh my god, Dominic! The chain! The chain's breaking! I can hear it breaking! Chain, I think we're experiencing some kind of malfunction! Pull me up! Pull me back up for the love of God! The chain's breaking and there's a shark! There's a lot of sharks! Yeah. 
almost there. Just a little more. Thank <laughs> you.
Okay, now I'm ready. Adrenaline, don't fail me now. are way off the mark. The insurmountable wasn't down there at all. I am aware that the insurmountable wasn't down there, and I do know its real location. I'll be heading out there alone right after I finish my business with you here, Zane. Dominic? What the hell? You know, perhaps it's actually better Things turn out this way. Gives me a chance to tell you what I really think of you. <laughs> so let me tell you an ancient history story. You've always loved ancient history, haven't you, Zane? Long, long ago, in the faraway city of South Burlington, Vermont, once lived an awful young brat. A brat played too many video games starring Nathan Drake and Laura Croft and would happily waste entire weekends re-watching old Indiana Jones movies. Anytime someone asked the brat, what do you want to be when you grow up? He'd always answer, I'm going to become the world's greatest treasure hunter. Time went on and the awful young brat grew up into an awful old brat, still clinging to his same childish dreams. For a few years, he grudgingly suffered the indignity of working an unexciting office job 
with his brother. But as soon as he'd saved up enough money, the old rat begged and pleaded with his younger brother to please, please, please join him on his first treasure hunting expedition. The old rat wanted himself a sidekick, you see. No true adventurer is ever complete without one. Eventually, after enduring enough whining, the brat's younger brother cracked and quit his job, and off the brothers went, hunting treasure after treasure all around the world. Admittedly, there were times that honestly turned out to be fun and even profitable. But in Iceland, the younger brother lost three of his toes to frostbite. In Luxembourg, a thief shot the younger brother in his left kidney, which had to be surgically removed. In Bolivia, my face got bitten by a rattlesnake. In Greece, I tumbled down a mountain and got my skull fractured. In the jungles of Rwanda, an insect bit me, and I caught some weird new disease which ultimately developed into cancer. You have cancer? Now here we both are, near the bottom of the world, searching for the spot where 101 men got eaten by sharks back in 1719, and I hate you more than I hate St. Nick's Dalfstein! Please, Dominic, you don't like adventuring anymore, we can just go our separate ways. You don't need to do this. Yes, I do! The very thought of a brat like you going on to make millions hunting treasure while I've been reduced to a miserable cancer victim just makes my blood boil! You need to die, and there's no better time and place and while we're all alone on an idiotic adventure in shark-infested waters like these, it's the perfect fratricide. And once the deed's done, I'll find the insurmountable's treasure on my own. I'll pay to have my cancer cured, and I'll live out the rest of my days in a nice, cozy mansion in Florida. And you, see, whatever pieces are left of you after the sharks have ripped you apart, We'll spend the rest of eternity in solitude underwater.
isn't who you are, Zane. to be the best of brothers. I wanted to share every adventure I ever had with you. I never meant to hurt you. I never wanted this. What now? Where am I supposed to go now? I don't even know what to do with myself anymore. No. That's wrong. I do know what to do with myself. I've always known what to do with myself since I was a little boy. I am going to become the world's greatest treasure hunter. Whether my brother is with me or not. down there at all. 